There's talk on the street, it sounds so familiar. Oh, that's the Eagles, new kid in town. Yeah, you're right. Welcome, folks, to the Cap Guy Show in JT in Oklahoma. We're going to do our rendition of Name That Old Song, You Old Fart. <laughs> I don't know if there's any correlation between what I'm wearing and what I'm saying, but you get it. All right. My turn. Turn out the lights. The, oh, the party's over. Willie Nelson. That's right. That's right. Man, I got to fix his hat. Here we go. All right. I know he don't wear it that way, but you're going to. All right. My turn. If he brings you happiness, then I wish you all the best. It's your happiness that matters most of all. Aren't you going to guess? No, I'm waiting for you to get to the Spanish part because I know you can't sing that part. <laughs> That's Freddie Fender for the next teardrop falls, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you got me on that one. You're right. I, I know a little bit of the Spanish, but I don't know enough to sing that. You got me on that one, JT. All right, my turn. He stopped loving her. That's a George Jones. He stopped loving her today. All right, all right, your turn. They smile in your face all the time. They're going to take you. Oh, that's Backstabbers, OJs. Yep, that's, what, that's right, 70s song. That's my era. All right, all right, my turn. You ready? You ain't going to get this one. I've heard people say, too much of a good thing. Well, that's a Barry White. That's Barry. That's Barry. I love Barry White. I love old classic R and B too. Um, can't get enough. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, your turn. My mama told me that ain't even sounding right, is it? Let's go. We'll skip that one. How about uh? All right, we just get on to the show. How about that? <laughs> all right, all right. They got the gist of it. Good morning, folks. Uh, doing a little play on Name That, you know, that a couple guys did the other night. I was going to wear an LSU hat to go along with that, but ain't no way I'm wearing an LSU hat. I'm a Longhorn, and I still got bad feelings about last September in Austin. And by the way, Baton Rouge is coming, and we're going to get even. You ain't got that quarterback no more. Ah, we should have won that game anyway if we didn't drop passes in the end zone. Anyway, I'll get on to that. We had 14 sales yesterday. Uh, good weekend. Had 26 total for the weekend. I shipped six of them Saturday because they shipped. If you watched my video yesterday, you saw that I uh, shipped them same day. I do have two of the sales this morning that are the numbers that I sold uh, throughout the night. And they'll go to the post office as well. And they'll be included in today's numbers. For the weekend, we had a very good weekend. Um, on yesterday's sales, I had one home run. The rest were small to medium sales. But we will get into what I sold. And um, anyway, we're not going to make that a regular thing. We just had to play on that. That was kind of... I like the, the older music, mid-80s and before. Any genre, especially classic R&B, country, or, or uh, rock I can I can hang with the best of them on that knowledge, but not the new stuff. Know nothing about Blink-182. Well, I do. I, I know you like Blink-182, and I still ain't sold that hat. I don't even, I guess I have listed it, yeah. All right, the first thing we sold is something it's, uh, that I have a lot of. I bought a bunch of these last summer at a, uh, a thrift store. I paid 49 cents a piece. I sold this for $7.49 with, with free shipping. Cost me $3.31 to ship it. So I'm not making a lot on them. $2.45 and I've got about $10 left and then I'll be done with them and I won't pick them up anymore. The next item I sold is one of the Cap Guys caps. Got this at the Goodwill bins for $0.18. Cents. Sold it for $9 plus shipping on top for $9.30. Sorry, Lonnie, I didn't mean to steal that from you. Um... 930 profit. It's a federal uh, ammunition cap, typically shotguns. 
Uh, this one is a Grey's Anatomy book, and this isn't the movie or the TV series. It's the actual anatomy book. Uh, it's a very nice uh, gold embossed uh, leather um, book. And uh, I paid a dollar for this uh, at a thrift store. Sold it for fifteen forty nine with free shipping. It went media mail. I'm sorry. No, media mail shipping was paid. I'm sorry. And uh, let me see. What did I sell it? $17.10 is what I sold it for with media mail. And I made twelve sixty. I think I get my stuff together here. Uh, if you've heard me talk about these a million times, this is a 164 scale Lesney Jeep. I bought this as a part of the military vehicle lot that I bought last summer. Um, I've already well made my money back. I got about 120, 150 of these type vehicles for $60. And I'm probably at least two to 300 in the profit. I had another box of vintage Hot Wheel and Matchbox that were all used. I made over over 800 on that $50 box and I've got about 10 of those left. So both of them have sold out and I've got a whole tub of cars I need to go through. I just haven't done it. Uh, yesterday I spent most of my time doing the rest of the PS2 games and uh, some other cameras and, and working on my death pile actually. By the way, on that I made, I sold it for eight fifty. dollars um, with shipping and I made seven seventy on it. Uh, this is my everyday steady food service knives that I sell at least two or three of these a week. I buy these by the case for uh, three twenty five per unit, uh, which is sixty five dollars a box. There's twenty in a case, and I'm getting one more today. I'm, I'm down to one case and one extra, and she's got one case left, and then she won't have any more. And I'm going to go ahead and buy it and stock up because I'm going into my last case now. Uh, but she's going to be out of stock. So it's been a good run. I'm making $400 a case off these at about $20 a, a pop. Uh, on this one, I uh, sold it for $27.89 with $3.25 invested, as I said. Plus shipping, I made $20.90 profit. Next item is a Goodwill bin find. These are... Uh, Gold's Gym gloves. They are used. I uh, bought these a while back or found these a while back. Uh, the, by the way, this is the eBay picture, and it's a very nice picture. Uh, better than most of my pictures. Uh, and I'm getting better at that, but I paid $0.35 cents for them, sold these for $6 plus shipping. I made $5.80. And like I said, I got a lot of smalls, so... This is a Mighty Mouse on Gildan tag. It's not single stitch, so it's not vintage. If For those of you that don't remember, uh, or they're not old enough to remember Mighty Mouse, he saved the day all the time. Great cartoon. You might YouTube it and check it out. Um, I uh, paid uh, 80 cents for this at the Goodwill Bins. I sold it for $14 with free shipping. I made $7.80. And again, I'm trying to get out of the clothes. This I bought on an estate belt sale back in January. Unfortunately, the young lady's father had passed away suddenly, and uh, she had a bunch of his stuff, and I went, and uh, he had a ton of football cards. A lot of them are 49ers, and I haven't even begun to tap into those. I paid $20 for a box of probably, I bet there's probably 3,000 cards in this thing, and they're all in, in their sealed plastic uh envelopes, but I just haven't gone through them. There's just so many of them. I don't know why I grabbed them and they may be valuable, but I just haven't gone through them. But this is a autographed Joe Montana and Jerry Rice football. These comped out at over $300, but, um, uh, and it, as you can see here, it's got all the Super Bowls they've won. Um, and, uh, and of course not the last one. And it's embroidered on the football. It's a nice football, and there it is. And it has a COA, but I guess uh, the reason it didn't garner the 300 and some odd dollars is because some people questioned the authenticity of the COA. I could tell just, I mean, sometimes you just know. And this guy uh, was a huge 49er fan, and I, I highly doubt he bought a football that wasn't authentic. 
Um, you can see the COA there, but I uh, paid $10 for it, and that was a steal. Um, sold it for $155 plus shipping, and it went priority in a 12 by 12 by 8 box. Um, I couldn't keep it because I am a Cowboys fan. Uh, I And, of course, those were great players. I'm not going to say anything like that. $125 profit off that football. That is a home run. Next item I almost gave up on. I found this at the bins as well. There's a ton of this kind of stuff at the bins. And this is bigger than it looks in the pictures. It's a Pier 1 Shaggy Bear. It had to go in a 12 by 12 by 8 number 7 box. That's how big it was. And that was kind of forming it into the box because it wasn't going in even a poly bag, the large poly bag. So... Um, I paid a dollar 80 for it based on weight at 69 cents a pound. So that gives you a clue how heavy it was. Sold it for 15 plus shipping on top. And I made $10 and 50 cents on it. The next item I'm getting starting to move into the single digits on these miss me jeans. These are actually shorts and I paid $7 for these last summer. I won't be buying miss me anymore unless they're special. Um, these are 29s. And they're staying here in the state of Oklahoma, going up the turnpike a couple, about 100 miles. Um, I paid $7 for these last summer. And um, I sold these for $16 on a best offer plus shipping. Made $6.90. The next item is Kodak. I got this at Goodwill. I actually paid more than I wanted to for this. It was $7.69, but I did comp it. It's Polaroid Premium Zinc Paper 2x3, 50 count. It's new. Again, I paid $7.67. I sold it for $22.49 with shipping being free. And I made $8.80 off of it. And again, profit is profit. This is PS2 Redhead Revolver, or Red Dead Revolver, not be confused with Redemption. Um, I paid a dollar for this at a thrift store back in uh, February and I sold this for $15.49 with free shipping. Uh, it went first class because it was only four cents more to upgrade it from media mail and that's what I do. And I made $9.40 on this game and it was complete. The next I found at the bins and I almost didn't buy this, it's, but the only reason I did is because it was Ralph Lauren. It is a denim white jacket, size 2X, and it was totally yellow when I picked it up. And again, because it was by the pound, $1.59 a pound, and because it was Ralph Lauren, I bought it. I brought it home and I soaked it with bleach and hot water, and surprisingly, this came out perfect. I could not be happier. And I knew it wasn't going to lose a lot of money if it didn't, but because it was Ralph Lauren, I had to get it. I bought, I paid about four fifty for it again, based on weight at a dollar fifty nine a pound. Sold it for twenty five on a best offer, plus priority shipping, and I did get it in a flat rate envelope, so I made a little extra on that. I ended up making nineteen dollars and sixty cents profit. And the last item sold this morning, I picked this up at a Goodwill, and they had two Dallas Star jerseys. One wasn't as good as this one. This one has the captain logo. It's stitched. Only negative is it's a youth, and usually youth doesn't garner as much as an adult. This one is autographed by Dorian Hatcher, who played for the Stars. He may still play. I don't know. I'm not a big hockey fan. Uh, as you can see, it's, but it's the older logo, not, not the newer type stuff. But you can see number two, Dorian Hatcher. Um, I paid $16.92 with tax and everything at Goodwill for this. And I had it listed for in the 60s. I finally came down into the 50s and I got an offer for 52 with free shipping. And I knew it was going to go in a priority. Well, I actually should have gone first class. The customer really wanted it in a, another bag inside the, 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 the bag I was shipping it in. And he wanted cardboard on the sides. And that was going to push the weight into first class anyway. So I decided to just go ahead and upgrade to a flat rate envelope and I did what he asked me to do for customer satisfaction. So I ate about a dollar and a half doing it, but again, I made enough on it to, to make it worth it. Again, 
52 in total sale, free shipping. I made $21.21 off that jersey, and I haven't had it very long. So all in all, on the day, I made, uh, I had uh, 14 sales, $55 in cost of goods, $3.91 in total sales, $268 in profit. And for the weekend, I had 26 total sales, uh, had uh, 10461 in cost of goods. I had 659.51 in total sales, and this is Saturday and Sunday. And my profit for the weekend was $434, which equates to $217 a day. And again, I'll take that all day long. I want to welcome a new subscriber. I'm at 290, I think six. I'm four away from. Or I'm sorry, I'm not 296. 196. I'm four away from 200. Tesla Picker, thanks for hooking me up and subscribing. I'm subscribed to your channel, and we're now subscribe to each other on Instagram, which is new for me. My Instagram, by the way, is the Cap Guy underscore Oklahoma. My store is Sports Are My Game. Uh, my user ID on eBay, if you want to follow me, is Texas43Blue, all one word. And, of course, I'm the Cap Guy, and he's JT. I hope you all enjoyed today's show. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. And as I say every day, the videos we make are from the hip. There's no editing. Um, I wouldn't have time to spend four hours editing in a 15, 20-minute video. So... Uh, Y'all have a great day. Again, I hope you liked it. Um, Cincinnati Picker and Lonnie, wasn't trying to offend you. I'm just having fun with it. Hope you enjoy it. And y'all keep tuning in. I will be here again in the morning. Um, and uh, Cap Guy out.